What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Pop the Balloon or Find Love, episode 19. Let's get it. Or Find Love. And we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you guys look good and you sound good. Yes. So we are going to be bringing out some single guys one by one. When they come around this corner, if he's your type, you're feeling him, you like everything, like do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything he said that's a red flag or, you know, maybe it fits just not fitting, go ahead and pop your balloon. And then I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. Are we ready? Yes. yes. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. How you doing? What's your name? I'm um, Scott. Scott, how old are you? Uh, I'm 32. Okay. Are you pissing me off already? Black shirt. Black shirt. Gray pant. And then brown shoe. I am pissed off. <laughs> would y'all have, would, would that have bothered y'all? I want to know. What's your name? I'm um, Scott. Scott, how old are you? Uh, I'm 32. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a truck driver and uh, I'm living in Houston right now. Okay, very nice. Now, uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, play video games. Uh, oh, fuck. I, I knew it. I'm work pretty much. Okay. Yeah, but other than that, playing video games. Got it. All right, now what are some Let things? Let me put the head in before I start my game. Let me put the head in before we play 2K tonight, please. Look for a woman. Uh, understanding, uh, kind, uh, a lady that's like a real, because you know we all not perfect. So, hey, if you're real, I'm real. We can talk. We can understand each other, and that's it. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, not real. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh I want to say. Yeah, it's not real. Okay. Yeah. All right, you're a simple guy. He's nervous. He's nervous, and that's obvious. Hey, yeah. Not too much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, right. oh. Okay, now what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, not real. Uh, <laughs> uh, deal breakers is not real? <laughs> uh, if she not real, I can't fuck with her. Uh, uh, uh. I want to say. They was like, that's it? <laughs> he... Yeah, it's not real. Okay. Yeah. All right, you're a simple guy. Yeah. Not too much. <laughs> All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Let's I go heard. on over there, see uh, why they ended up popping. Right. Let's start right over here. Yeah, if you feel me, shit. You ain't real. Yeah. What? He is nervous, though. We can have your name and age. My name is Shayna, and I'm 30. Uh, nice and Shayna, what do you do? I'm an ultrasound tech, and I um, act on the side, too. Okay. okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? So you seem like a very, very nice guy. Yeah. Um, I had to pop because you're a truck driver, you're on the road a lot, and the video games, I'm not sure how much you're into that. Yeah. Um, but you're very handsome, good looking. You seem very, very nice. So good luck. Uh, thank you. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> All right. Now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love the curly hair, the natural. You. You thank know? you. Yeah. Pretty teeth. Oh, pretty, thank you. Pretty teeth. Yeah. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank you. Let's go on down here. We can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Misha, and I'm 27. Um, the reason why, oh. Oh. Misha, what do you do? Oh. So right now, um, I actually uh, manage a wait. family business that's been operating for about 25 years. So. Damn. Nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? So the reason why I popped um, was because right now I'm looking for somebody who can, you know, be there a little bit more. Um, the truck driving, you're on the road a lot, so that's that's the reason. But very good looking, and I hope you find somebody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, same thing. Is she someone that's your type? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What makes her your type? Uh, he lying. He nice as hell. The like it's just, it's just I could tell, you know. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying no. She's pretty. Thank you. Know? Okay. That Thank nigga you. Let's go over here. Your name and age. My name is Miriam. I'm 34 years old. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a hairstylist and a makeup artist. Right. So, why did you end up popping your balloon? It was just the hair for me. Ah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Hey. <laughs> What's wrong with this hair? 
I don't know. It just doesn't look done. Um, the hairline, you know, I just like somebody who looks clean, very, you know, put together. And I feel like you got to compliment me as well. So, yeah. Now, is she someone that's your type? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I ain't go, I ain't go, I ain't go. Uh, uh, yeah, don't she my like type. That. Yeah, nah, <laughs> so, nah, you, nah. you hesitated a bit. Why'd you hesitate? Nah, I mean, nah. Because what I said? Yeah. No, no, I can nah, line nah, you nah. up, you know? I'm just, hey. <laughs> Nah, nah, she's my type. Okay. Yeah, I would talk to her. All right, thank you. Let's go on to our next lady. You're he almost too sweet. Like, he is stressing me the hell out. Babe, you want to go buy a mansion today? I know we only have 200000 in our account. Yeah, babe, let's spend it all. No! No, 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 no. I don't need you to just say, yeah, because I want to do some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Your name and age? Hi, I'm Zola Stone, and I'm 31. Okay. And Zola, what do you do? I'm a recording artist and a traveling exotic dancer. Nope. So the truck driving doesn't bother me at all. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? <laughs> no, I love the cross on your neck. You know, got faith right here. I saw that. Um, it's just, you're in Houston, I'm in LA, and I really don't want to do long distance anymore. I got you. You know, but I travel as well, but it's just, yeah, the truck driving. What? It's, it's going to be a lot. Yeah, I got you. That's lonely, right? Yeah, that's why I'm yeah. on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, no, nah, I understand. That was, that was probably one of the worst lies I've ever heard this season, okay? Because what? All right. The truck driving doesn't really bother me, but the truck driving, it gets lonely, huh? You could just ride with me. You travel and do your exotica. Your exotica. I mean, we, we do got a bad rep, too, so I, I can't I No, can't fault you for I mean, I'm a traveling exotic dancer, so yeah. it's like I'm traveling alone, too, and I have a bad rep. That's all. Not really, I'm mad. He would have accepted you. No, I'm sorry. So now, is she someone that's your type? Uh... Don't be mad at me. <laughs> nah. Okay. Why not? It's, had to. Yeah. Mm. It's too much. Nah, see, I'm cool with body, but face out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I know. I get, right. it. <laughs> I get it. Thank you, though. <laughs> Let's go on over here. Let's start sure. with your name and age. Briante, uh, 27. Okay. And what do you do? Oh. R&B singer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so why did you end up popping your balloon? It's the style. Mm. You know, um, it's just style you know okay. everything you do is perfect from the games to the working to everything you do is perfect but um it's just the style for me it's cool I got you. <laughs> it's <not> you. <laughs> now she's someone that's your type yeah okay. yeah, yeah 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 she she got it she got it all right yeah. <laughs> okay thank you let's head on back so we do still have Ooh, four balloons left unpopped. Hey. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it on over to you. Okay. I'm gonna have you ask these ladies a question, help you narrow it down, see who's more your type. All right, uh, where do you see yourself in two years? Two years, okay. We'll start with your name and age. My name is Jojo and I'm 30. And Jojo, what do you do? I'm a counselor and a professional dancer. Oh, ah, so where do you see yourself in two years? In two years, um, I'll definitely still be in my career. Um, Hopefully in a relationship uh, in two years and, um, you know, reaching more goals, being successful, still doing what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Your name and age? Hi, my name is Darian and I'm 26. Okay. Darian, what do you do? I'm a social media manager. Very nice. And where do you see yourself in two years? So two years, I hope to <sighs> further my career. I hope to work in something maybe a little bit more corporate. Um, but also I'm letting God take the lead on that as well. And I hope to be married in two years. So, and I hope to be a homeowner as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Um, Deja Marie, what do you do? I'm a finance manager. Okay. And to answer this question, what, where do you see yourself in two years? Um, I would see myself continuing to grow professionally. I've been working my way through a variety of um, positions within the financial industry. How? she says you were um so i see myself continuing to grow and advance there and hopefully be in a long-term committed relationship working towards marriage 
All right, thank you. Let's we got one more down over here. Okay, your name and age. So I'm Tanaya, I'm 27. Tanaya, what do you do? So right now I'm pursuing my master's in marriage and family therapy. Sure. Nice. Okay, and now where do you see yourself in two years? In two years, I see myself being a licensed therapist, um, a mother, a wife, um, marriage. In two years? Damn. Yeah. And she's 27. Okay, let's head on. popping her balloon. I'm back. Let's head on back. So, I am going to hand you a pick because it is time that you're going to have to pop one of these ladies' balloons. So, let me give that over to you and just go ahead and pop one of them. So, yeah, pop one. Yep, gotta pop one. Uh, uh, he ain't even heard nothing that happened. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? Uh. I guess the other answers have kind of, I'm sorry, the other answers, I'm kind of like, I guess in tune with them. Mm -hmm. yeah, sorry. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Yo, I cannot with you. <laughs> and so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? I just wanted to hear a little bit more about him. Um, so I was just going to uh, listen to him talk a little bit more and see what he's about. Cool. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and ask another question. Too nervous. Uh, what's one of y'all weird traits? Oh, like something you think that's weird about you, but you know you do it kind of, you know, in your little time. That walk. You know? He's definitely okay. essential. Definitely essential. I didn't think anything else. Definitely essential. Let's start over here. What's one of your weird traits? Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> A weird trait. Um. I guess it's kind of random, but I like to do like word search puzzles and stuff like that. Like said, not weird. Cool and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's weird, maybe. <laughs> but that's a weird ass question, though. I ain't gonna lie. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, let's go over here. What's a weird trait? Um, I would have to say probably watching ASMR eating videos or like. That's not weird, sis. Girl, I'll pull up one right now. You brought this on yourself. Fried chicken eating. Fried chicken eating. Oh, yeah. Don't y'all run from all this goodness. Oh, yeah. That's my guy. Hold on, y'all. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me get that bite. Let me get that bite. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to get the original bite. Let's do this. Let's do it. Oh my God. Please. Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh! Yes. Yes. Take the rest. Come on. Clap for it. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Get that last. Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh! Oh! Suck it! Suck it! Why don't you? Yes! Oh, I'm so satisfied. Oh. <sighs> okay. Things like seafood boils and stuff. Not about y'all, but my my mouth is. Warm. My mouth. <laughs> good. I don't know what that is, but you look like, <laughs> it's like people eating. Yeah, people eating like seafood boils. Like you never seen them? No. Nah. On really? No, nah, I never seen that. Oh wow. Oh hey, wow. It's weird, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we got one more. <laughs> All right, what's one of your weird traits? So a weird trait that I have, um, you know, when you have a piece of gum, I split it in half because it's too much gum. So I take half of the gum and then I eat it. And I save the other half for later. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. Because it, it ain't enough gum in that gum. Okay? To be splitting it in half. I bet a lot of y'all do that shit. I hate that. It just, why, why not just, why not just eat the whole damn gum? Why? Why? Or chew the whole, <laughs> chew the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. 
Well, since you asked that question, I know the lady's probably wondering, what's your weird trait? Respectfully, my uh, job be hurting. I understand. Well, when I'm driving, I kind of have little stories in my head and I act it out while I'm driving. Okay. And I ain't nothing wrong with talking to yourself because I talk to a real nigga all the time, but it's, it was the acting out stories for me. Um, yeah, I be laughing at myself and all that. Oh, sorry. So you be laughing while you're driving by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, too much on the road. It's I ain't got nothing else Okay, to do. well, after this round, I am going to go ahead and have you pop another balloon. Okay. I'll let it come down here. Okay, why'd you end up popping hers? Uh, there's just no reason I kind of go over there. Okay. Be honest with you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so why did you have your balloon on pop for him? Um, I mean, I heard that he lives in Houston. That's where I live. Hey, um, so, yeah, I just wanted to hear more. Got it. Oh, yeah. Whatever. All right, cool. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Ooh. All right, why did we end up popping? Cause he talk talk to himself with the stories. The um the answer you just gave just reminded me more of the like truck driving, which was the thing for me. But I was trying to hold on because you seem really nice and you look nice. Um, but yeah, it just I'm like okay, don't just go with your first mind. Yeah. So okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So is she someone that is your type though? Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. she made it in. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Nah. She seemed like a good lady, and you know. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Right, thank you. Any questions for him? Yes. I will say he seems like a great dude, though. Just boring as hell. That's all. He probably get cheated on a lot, even though his meat big. Um, look, I don't know if it is, but he gives me a censure. But I. Sorry. Sorry. Do you have any children? No. No kids. Okay. Do you have any? passions besides video games or hobbies that you do besides uh, video games or truck driving i mean the only passion i have is i want to get a lake house it'll be a you know a nice little minute from now and yeah okay yeah so. how do you feel about cats <sighs> yeah i don't think my dog might like a cat okay so is that like a deal breaker for you uh not really not really i'll make a make a like a an exception. To make arrangements. You know, yeah. What yeah. Because I have a cat do. and she's not going anywhere. I have a dog and he's rocking with me. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me bring you on up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right. So I have a final question if there's no others. Good. No? Uh, I do actually. Okay. So about the lake this. house. I understand that you probably want to own a property that's the lake house. Is it just like you want to live there or are you trying to? make something from it or like what do you think firstly are you religious or are you do you yeah. believe in god yeah yeah so what do you think what else do you think god has called you to do like is the lake house something that you're doing a business with or do you plan to do truck driving forever no nah, because i understand it's hard for a relationship so mm -hmm. once i kind of start to get that relationship moving i'm gonna try to stay more local and kind of, you know, be there. And the lake house is, uh, one time I was with my friend at the lake house and I just seen it and I, I kind of dreamed like having a family there, having the kids come over, mm -hmm. you know, having my like grandson, like, you know, sneak girls over, you know, go drive <laughs> on the boat and take them tubing and all of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I just want that. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes, I will try it out. <laughs> is it a yes for you for her? Sure. We got a match. <laughs> All right. I'll we will be doing a checkup on them. We will be doing a checkup on. Them. Yes. I don't think that this is it. <laughs> but we will check up. All right. <clears throat> I'll take this mic and Whoa. you guys can go on up. Oh, <laughs> let's give it up for them guys. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Woo! Damn! 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 
What's your name? Hello, my name is Pointer. Pointer, how old are you? I'm 30. Okay, and what do you do? Damn! I am a talk show host and an educator. Okay, very cool. Uh, What are some things I can do for fun? I love to do the three E's. I like to eat, I like to exercise, and I like entertainment. I like to be entertained. Okay. (laughs) So what are some things you look for in a woman? What I'm looking for in a woman, most importantly, uh, you have to love Jesus. Mm. I love Jesus. Um, And I also want a woman that's romantic. You know, um, I believe it was the prolific artist Mario that said, you should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Let you know, I have to, okay. I like to eat. Okay, okay. I'm very cool. The last talk show, huh? I need y'all to see this. Um, This is very sad. Um, I think we should not abuse technology. My name is uh, James Moore. James, what do you do? <sighs> He's worse. Uh, I work in software and IT right now. Okay, and how old are you? 35. 35, very nice. All right. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Uh, hang out with friends. Um, I kind of am into gaming, so okay. a little bit of that. Uh, I do like music, music production. Um, I'm pretty spontaneous, so uh, lately this year I went um, to Thailand for two months. Mm. Uh, yeah, oh. so I'm pretty open to like doing fun stuff, but he just kind of kicking back, taking it easy. Okay. I do like to work out a lot, so fitness is a thing for me. Got it. Uh, what are some things to look for in a woman? Um, pretty much just chill, down to earth, um, kind, nice, kind of a, just as herself, really involved in what she um, wants to do for career-wise work, like, you know, has something she's passionate about mm-hmm. um, as well. I kind of find that that kind of motivates me about the things that I'm passionate about as well. Okay. So, yeah, off Got the top it. of my head, I could think that's what it would be. Uh, and what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, <laughs> so I would say kids, but the thing is, I'm not against kids because I have homegirls and friends that have children. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing is for me is that the girl that I get together with, um, I want to have a family with. So I kind of want to start from the beginning. So that's probably right. the reason why I would mention that. Okay. And then someone that's kind of just honestly like not not kind, mm. I think is kind of the things I could really mention. So, okay. Yeah. All so. right, so we did get a pop down there. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. All right, we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. Okay. And uh, Zola Stone, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I feel like we have a lot in common. You know, I do music as well. I'm a recording artist. But I feel like you probably want a girl that's more, like, clean. clean why, are you, why are you assuming that? Why are you assuming? And I'm just more edgier. <laughs> you know, you probably want the clean, classy look. I'm into the tats, and... just just looking at your appearance. So <laughs> you're kind of what I like, just just saying. I don't know. I just yeah. kind of figured, oh, he's probably not gonna like the face tats on me, or you know. What made you? What made you think that? He's just so like clean, like perfect. I, I have tattoos <laughs> like, as well. Very. She already insecure. I cannot do this. <laughs> Jamie says she's a whore. <laughs> Yo, Jamie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It gives like every once in a while I like to swing and <laughs> I don't think you'll be with that. <laughs> this 
like some outlandish <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> yeah, I am done. Maybe too strict. I don't know. I might be too free while. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay. That's the vibe I get. Like, keep yeah. it classy, clean. And um, I'm also a traveling exotic dancer. So, okay. probably not going to like that. All right. All right. I feel you on that. I get that. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. Okay. Like, I guess. <laughs> like, yeah, you got the creative there. And I'm super creative. But I'm everybody not. coming there to look. For a wife. But everybody need a freak in the sheets. You know what I'm saying? I get a point, y'all. She not a lady in the in the street. She not a lady in the streets, but she's a freak in the sheets. And, and a freak in the streets. Okay, that's just, uh, yeah. Be too wild. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, so I know before you were like, yeah, I like the tattoos, all that. So is she someone that's your type? Um, everything's cool. The last part, yeah, yeah, I think I'm cool. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. No judgment, though, but. No, yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Intuition. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Your what name and age. Briante, uh, 27. Okay. And what you end up popping your balloon? I have a beautiful son, so no, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? Thank you. Yeah, she definitely. From now be on, top. that's how you make that. From now on, that's how you need to make that A1 sauce. Goddamn. Had you made some ranch, too, girl. I'm trying to take. I wasn't. That was good. Hey, so you wasn't feeling the sauce. You wasn't feeling like making a ranch. You did what, what needed to be done. How's your old appreciate? All right. Can I have another I snack? You not getting that on my truck. I ain't no problem. I was just about to ask you. Can I have another snack up here? I can't get a chip or two or something. Pretty hungry still. Still pretty hungry. Water. Water. <laughs> I'm drinking it. I'm doing the best that I can. Okay, Mango. Mango, I need a snack. Type. She's uh, very she attractive. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I like the color of the dress you and everything. Very, yeah, it's just... Yeah, my son is everything to me. How old's your son? Just to ask. Um, he's seven. Okay. Yeah, um, single mom, so, you know, I don't deal with no drama or nothing. It's just me and him, so, you know, we are, like, we're package so if somebody doesn't accept him then they don't get me mm. so yeah i totally understand okay. yeah. All right. thank you let's head on back we did get a pop right on over here your name and age my name is misha and i'm 27 okay and misha why did you end up popping your balloon um i just physically wasn't attracted um you are a good looking man no doubt about that it's just i just wasn't physically attracted and i didn't see um, myself you know matching with you um a little too short for you? No, it's not even the shortness. Like, it, I don't think you're short, though. So Yeah, I didn't even know what he was talking about. You look pretty damn tall to me. I'm wearing heels right now. But um, just like, you know, your outfit and stuff, it just wasn't my vibe. So Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, she's someone that's your type? Uh, she, she She's cute, but probably not someone I would really go for, okay. honestly. Well, why not? Um, it be her and the why not for me. She does ask some challenging questions. Why not? Um, I wasn't expecting that. I, just cause. Just cause. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's her job to, to you know, bring this type of stuff to the show. So. This is just not my type. Yeah. yeah mm. I, I can't. Yeah. You can't pinpoint it? I can't pinpoint, I can't pinpoint it. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess we'll let him slide. <laughs> yeah, let, let it slide. Let it slide. Let's go. Okay. Your name and age. I'm Shayna and I'm 30. Okay. And Shayna, why did you end up popping your balloon? So you are very handsome, but physically, just not my type. And the oh. outfit, too. Okay. What, what are you into physically? I want to know. I don't know. I don't see myself with you. Like, when I saw you, there wasn't, like, no kind of connection. Yeah. Um, but you are good looking. Like. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. He's trying to figure out, is it something specific? Yeah, yeah. like, what is it? Yeah, I want to know, like, what, what kind of men are you mm -hmm. into? Like, what, what, what turns you on? What gets you excited? <laughs> Just when I saw you, I didn't feel a, any kind of connection. Okay. Um, but you are good looking, so. All right. Thank you. All 
lying. You're lying. All right, we'll let it. We'll let it slide. Yeah, we'll yeah, see. We'll let we let you slide one. Yeah. That's one slide. <laughs> your name and age. I'm JoJo, and I'm 30. Okay, and JoJo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, the attraction just wasn't there. I like that you're into fitness because uh, I am too. But um, as I was just looking, I was like, no, the, yeah. just the attraction. Okay. Okay. That's cool. All right. Now she's someone that's your type. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, your eyes are very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I like the ink as well too, and the, the dress. So, yeah, probably would be someone I would I would uh, choose. Yeah. Cool. Would like to get you know know you more, but just off appearance, that, yeah, I probably would choose her. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we do still have three balloons left unpopped. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question, just to help you narrow it down, see who's more of your type. Hmm. All right. Um, what do you feel like has been a very positive attribute and the men that you've dated that has been kind of like something that's been brought up over time? Okay, let's start over here. Your name and age and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie, I'm 33. And do you mean a positive attribute within myself or within the partners I typically choose? Yeah, your personality. My personality. Um, I would say I'm very understanding. I'm very caring. Um, I'm very loyal and supportive. Um, I have a good ear to listen, and um, I care about my partner's emotional well-being. So that's always been a positive in my past relationships. I like that. I like that. Let's go over here. Name, age, and the answer to his question. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. What was the question again? Because I didn't hear it. I'll rephrase it. So basically, like, what's she like a positive loud. attribute of um, As hell. that you've had people tell you uh, from like, the people that you've dated um, consistently, like about you that they've liked something about like how you are? Um, I pour into the person I'm dating. Um, I feel like I help them elevate as well. So that helps me elevate in a sense, if that makes sense. Um, I'm nice. Jesus, nice. I, I mean, I really don't know. I feel like she says she like clean cut. What y'all think about him? They really don't say it. It's just more through actions. Um, it's never like, oh, well, you do this, you do that, and I like this, I like that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Yeah. All right, thank you. And then we got one more. All right, your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. Um, I would say a positive attribute from nope. past partners is that I'm naturally genuine um, and nurturing. Um, I do have um, an ear to listen to. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, yeah. And then I always smile. And I think that's a really positive attribute that my partners, past partners would say. I always smile. That's cool. All right, let's head on back. Okay, so I am going to hand you a pick. You are gonna have to pop one of these ladies' balloons, just based off of what you've heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff, so let me hand that over. There you go, and then just go ahead and pop one of theirs. This is horrible. <laughs> uh, don't take offense, don't take offense. Wow. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? She seems like a you don't see them kitten heels, man. Why the hell would you go with her? Kitten heel, toe touching the ground. Her toe is touching the ground, man. Ugh. Like a really nice person, but just, just not my speed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you did have your balloon unpopped for him. Why so? Um, I just wanted to hear more, like, physically I wasn't attractive, but I'm learning to not look at the physical, so I just wanted to kind of hear more, but we didn't match, so it's okay. <laughs> All right. It worked out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's head on back. Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna have you ask the ladies a question, and then I'll have them ask you a question. Okay, um... Question. I'm gonna think about. It. Give me a second. Okay, let's have them ask you then, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, ask me. ladies, any questions? Uh, yeah. Down there. Okay, let's start down here. I cannot stand in the yeah, heels. Your well, long term goals. Like I can't stand in the heel longer than two seconds. But if I was a, a feminine woman, I would not be standing in the heels for an hour. With the next couple of years. And one What spot. do you see yourself at? Um, continue working, uh, investing, kind of like really setting money aside. Um, 
in the long run, I want to like live abroad, so possibly buy properties in Asia, Mexico. Um. Cheetah dress, cheetah dress toes is sticking out hella far. That's what I was just talking about, friend. First of all, she got the nerve to have on a kitten heel. But second of all, she got the nerve to have on a kitten heel with straps. Third of all, her toes is touching the ground. I can't, I can't do it. Invest in businesses. I kind of want to open like a laundromat up. I'm kind of really wanting to just kind of get up like residual income. Okay. Um, that sort of thing, really. That's kind of like in the forefront and of course meet someone that I could kind of establish a relationship with and uh, start a family. Yeah. Okay. What would that look like in, in the midst of all that? Because that seems like that's a lot for... I don't think it's too much. I think you're going to work and just, you know, money comes in time, so you can mm -hmm. allocate finances and just do what you need to do and then meet that person and kind of build upon that and get to know them and, you know, go in the right direction that, you know, hopefully they're both, you both are on the same page, so, okay. yeah. That's not a lot that a nigga want to make more money. Damn. Be scared of niggas making money in that video game. That's kind of how I see it. Okay. Yeah. $100 don't bother me at all. Play the game. Work. But see, I make sure I'm different. I just make sure you get whatever the fuck you want. We do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> you got to make them in other areas, but I don't think that's a lot of what he was saying. That's my question. All right. <laughs> okay. Any questions over here? Um, yes. Are you, how do you feel about long distance relationships or where are you, where do you live? I stay in LA right now, Los Angeles. Uh, I've never done a long distance relationship, so I'm 50, 50 about it. I don't know if I can give a yes or no, but I feel like if it's the right person, I think that, yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Yeah. Okay. And where are you? I know you say he's LA. I'm in Wisconsin. Okay. So we would be quite away. I've, I've never been to Wisconsin. Actually, I think I have been once to like a Wendy's or something like that. I, don't even I was like 15. <laughs> but I haven't really been in Wisconsin. I've never been to LA either, so. Oh, you got you to gotta come to LA. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So if you're ready to pop, you can pop. Or if you have another question, you can ask the ladies another question. Um, <laughs> what do you ladies look for in a guy? Like, what, what are you looking for? What's the situation? Okay. I'm looking for someone that's um, ready to be committed in a committed relationship. I don't want to waste time anymore. I'm 33, so I don't want to interact with situationships that are just going to pass the time. I want something more long-term where I can get to know someone on a deeper level um, and really build that friendship to where we can work towards you know, a marriage or starting our own family. Um, I just don't want to deal with anyone if they're just to pass the time. And I would hope someone is ready to commit in that way as well, or at least work towards that type of commitment. Okay. I understand. It's good on here. So I'm looking for someone that I can build with, um, someone that I can call my best friend, but also my lover. Um, also someone that is committed and that wants a family and wants marriage, because family is everything to me. So I want somebody that's really grounded in that and grounded in faith. It doesn't have to be a certain denomination, but have to believe in something. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, it's time to pop. Mm. Gotta pop, to pop one of their balloons. This is hard. I know, I know, they're amazing ladies. <laughs> Where's my toothpick? You lost it. Oh. All right. Okay, um, there we go. <laughs> I think he's cool as hell. I can't make a decision. Yes, honestly. you can. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I can't. No, I can't. Um, oh, oh. Oh, oh. damn. <laughs> All right. What the fuck? <laughs> so why did we end up popping hers? I saw what was that. <laughs> It's really, it's really, really tough. So what made you decide? Honestly, it was really, really tough. I, I think you both are great. I think all the ladies are actually pretty great. Um, I wish I could have a little more time to get to know you. Um, 
your response on the last question I felt was kind of rushed, and I, I get what you were saying, because mm -hmm. um, time is like really important, mm -hmm. so that's kind of why the reason was. Yeah, I felt she was a little more calm and madder about it. You mean like rushing to a relationship, or rush in what regard? Just the energy, like I get what you were saying, but mm -hmm. I felt like it was real kind of like, just like. Real like forcey. I want to be in a relationship right now. I'm turning 33 and I ain't got time to bullshit, nigga. So if you want to be with me, you about to move to Wisconsin. It just was too serious. Like, man, we got to like do this now, you know? Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Real mad and like. <laughs> Let's come on up here. Come on up. Come on up. That is hilarious. All right. So I have a final question. <laughs> you guys are all good. No. <laughs> No way. No, you can go. You can go. Oh, <laughs> I said no way. Okay, okay. so <laughs> is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Uh, is it a yes for you for her? Yeah. We got a match. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go on off. Yes, give it up for them. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. He rap arm, nigga. Hello, welcome. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jeremy. Jer Hello, welcome. What's your name? Jeremy, if you don't get that. Not Chrissy say, I sent you. <laughs> Jeremy. What the hell is this? What is this on his head? Hi, my name is Jeremy. Jeremy, how old are you? I'm 34. And what do you do? I'm an operations manager for Global. This ain't for him. This right here is not for him. Okay. Logistics company. Okay, very cool. Where does he got? He has on a blue top with blue pants. I just. Am I colorblind? Can y'all see? Is that a blue top with blue pants? Because quite frankly, it's pissing me off. Yes, it is. Okay. What are some things I like to do for fun? Uh, I'm a musician. I'm a writer, a songwriter. Okay. Uh, poet, author, and coach. Very nice. Uh, now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, honest women. Okay. That's number one. Uh, hard to find these days. Mm -hmm. um, a woman that has a relationship uh, with her spiritual father. Okay. Um, I like that. My interpretation of that is... Spiritual father, I like that. God. Um, a woman that knows what she wants <laughs> and that's focused on her goals. Okay. Why are you spending now, what are some deal break? breakers? Uh, deal breakers are lack of accountability. Mm. Um, are... Uh, women that don't communicate with men well. Okay. So if you have like dad issues or you got a reckless mouth, it's probably not going to work. Okay. Uh, and I hate to say this, but like the last one, I hate to I have to say this is hygiene. Hygiene. Okay. Yeah. What's your preference? <laughs> All right. I ran into some funky women. <laughs> what the fuck going on with that? So we have no pop balloons. So you're doing well. <laughs> so what that means, I'm gonna actually go ahead and switch it on over to you. Okay. Um, so for the first round, I am gonna have you pop mm, two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far. Who doesn't really fall into your type? Whatever it may be. So let me hand you a pick. Can I ask a question or do I gotta Nah, just not this round, next round. <laughs> this is tough. I know. Um... <laughs> Okay, and one more. <laughs> All right. Let's start with the first one. You ended up popping. Glad you got rid of Cheetah, but other shot is straight. I don't know what's going okay, on. Okay, if we can have your Maybe because of all them wide hips. Name and age. My name is Miriam and I'm 34. And Miriam, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I don't know, honestly. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I was zoned out. Oh. I was no, no, seriously. Um, I think I just wanted to hear more, but I, I also couldn't hear him as much. But mm. yeah, I just wanted to hear more. Okay, so is he someone that is your type? No, Ooh. okay, yeah. what makes him not your type? Um, he's too slim and just 
I think the hair. Um, Worse. I just don't feel like braids is like something for an older guy in his thirties. Just, I mean, just my opinion. And um, I just don't think that haircut looked good on him at all. At all. And you know when he ain't got it done. I should have looked at his Instagram because I know he on Instagram looking just the way I'm thinking when that shit ain't done. Just come on, bro. <laughs> when you first came out, I, I'm a parents person. Um, I think it was like your bottom teeth. And oh I'm my just, God, she's well. just going to go in. I think because she didn't get chosen, she when she don't get chosen, she's an <laughs> asshole. So, I mean, that really was just it, and yeah. All right. So, as uh, Miriam's, I know you end up popping her balloon. Why'd you end up popping hers? <laughs> um, not really my type. Okay. Um, it seems, I mean, you're 34. I didn't, I didn't see that, but uh, I thought she was a little bit older, and so oh. that's kind of why I popped. But okay. Damn. Damn! <laughs> no, the teeth absolutely matter, friend. Yeah. Thank you. And then you did pop one more. Let's go over here. I mean, shit, she was being rude, so. <laughs> Your name and age. He just gave her what she gave him. Deja Marie, 33. And Deja Marie, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I just wanted to hear you talk a little bit more to see what you were about. So is he someone that's your type? Uh, typically not. Um, but I was still wanting to know a little bit more. You know, I'm going to ask, what makes him not really your typical type? <laughs> um, I would say the build. Um, I like a little bit more stocky, more, um, like athletic. Y'all like men with a little meat on their bone. Um, <laughs> and then uh, you have a very, I love your height though. Thank you. I love tall guys. So I love your height. That's a plus. Um, but typically I do y'all like skinny guys. I just like a little bit more um, builds and then uh, the hair. Thank you. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> All right. So what do we say? That skinny man can lay that pipe. End up popping Deja Marie's. Um, kind of similar answer to you gave. It's <laughs> just not. Girl, no. Jamie, athletic build. Mm -hmm. Hell no. I love a skinny man. Not using my type. Like, I mean, you're beautiful, though. Thank like, you. Hey, Dick no and stroke got to be superb. Uh, you just. Not usually what I go for. So, and I don't. I think when I got older, I stopped caring. <laughs> okay. Um, my man, 300 solid, six feet. Oh, you got you a thick nigga. So I... I don't know if that's good or bad because here I am. So. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay. So for the next round, you can go ahead and ask a question now. <laughs> cool. Um... Yo, Chrissy, shut up. Do any of you have children? Okay, I think we have one down there. Okay. Our How children. many children? Okay, let's go down there. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Briante, 27. Okay, and then I think he wanted to know, how many kids do you have? One. One, okay. I was asking because that's kind of my limit, like. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I appreciate Just the one. honesty. Okay. Okay. No, it's not I, a I respect breaker. the no, limit. No, it's not a deal breaker. Honey sauce, yeah, one one. Honey sauce came with two. Okay. And the nerve, we done added one more. Sick of his ass. But I was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck, I don't give. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, here we are. One big happy family. I love it. So got it. I appreciate right. that. Right. Back. <laughs> but I will say, it makes a difference. Like, how many kids you got? One. Oh, okay, I can make that work. When you say two, you get to thinking like, I got to buy two meals. One won't shoot, got to buy the other one shoot. But they not really like that. They not like that at all. You can get London a pair of shoes today and Ray won't give a fuck. She won't be like, because that's me. I do. Damn, you got her pair of shoes and give me a pair of shoes? The fuck? Get London a pair of shoes. Ray don't give a damn about none of that. Get her some ice cream and some fucking ice cream cones. Baby, she is set for the year. Okay. <laughs> I love okay, that. Okay, so we only have one that has a child. <laughs> Any other questions? Um, yeah. Why are you single? Mm. Hold on. Oh. Now, London, on the other hand, is a little different. 
Can't get Ray something without London. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait, what is that? Yeah. Why are you single? Mm. Oh. Okay. We'll still ask and then we'll go. Okay. All right. All right. Why is that a popping question? <laughs> You know, the truth. <laughs> let's, definitely my job. let's start here then your name and age and why are you single my name is misha and i'm 27 um the reason it was just one question I don't, that wasn't even that deep y'all reason that i'm single is because i have done a really good job of figuring out what i like and i feel like i'm at the age right now where i can date and i do know what i want um i think my earlier years i was having fun figuring out everything and now it's like kind of all keen in. I'm focused. I know what I want. That's exactly why they single. No communication had ass women. Okay. Yeah. You have one more unpopped. <laughs> and uh, why are you single? I think I'm single because um, I tend to pick the wrong men. Um, I do go for more of bad boys and um, Everything you're not probably supposed to go for, but uh, I like to take our little risk. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go out of my elements now. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we did get a few pops when you asked, why are you single? Let's start right here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, I'm Zola Stone, I'm 31. And I pop just because- uh, Did she go with that insecure know. shit? <laughs> I'm single because just being in the entertainment industry is, is just tough. You know, I'm a recording artist and then I'm an exotic dancer. She's so ashamed of herself. Oh my God. Why are you even on the show? She's supposed to stand in that shit. On the side. Um, not a main thing. Kind of too old my body hurts at this point so it's it's not every day it's more the music side is every day you know but uh, you probably won't like that so. oh my god the prettiest women in the world are the most insecure women in the world i don't get it look at this smile this woman is beautiful and so, like she the type you see her gorgeous till she opened her fucking mouth. My fault, baby. What I was saying was, like she's she's a pretty person, but where I was going with it is she's insecure. That just make you ugly as hell. She's she's cool until she opened her mouth. Like damn, she fine as hell. I'm about to go holla at her. How you doing today? Oh, I'm great, but my day could go better. I just, oh, my job, I'm an exotic dancer. I know, I know, you're ashamed of it. You know what? Never mind, bitch. I don't want to talk to you at all, actually. I don't even want to do this. <laughs> that's why, so that's you what I mean. Because it's you think he like, wouldn't like it? No. Just. How you popping the balloon for me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like. And she's done this, what, three niggas? This is three niggas in. Just like reminded me, like, just dating in the industry is so tough. Okay. I don't know. Okay. And he don't even. So is she someone that is your type, though? Um, probably not generally, but I did like your answer. So um, I appreciate your, like, authenticity. I've seen more about you than I did at that particular time. So, um, like, if we met, like, yeah, I would talk to her, yeah. Absolutely. And you're gorgeous, by the way, so. Thank you. No, you too. A handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Girl, I, can, Thank I don't you. No, like you're her. good, girl. You popped. You popped. She needs All to right. Help. Name an agent while you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Shayna. I'm she 30. She need a hug. She needs some. You hear me? <laughs> um, you are handsome. You are definitely my type. I just did not like the question. I feel like when men ask that sometimes, they're trying to find something wrong. I feel like you projected that. I feel like she projected that from whatever other man I asked her that. I think he genuinely is a question asker. He gives me, he's curious and wants to know what you're talking about. Um, And I'm single because I'm single. I haven't met the person. I just didn't like the question. 
I would, you shouldn't even want to deal with a brother. Keep on going. My rebuttal to that is okay. I was oh. more so asking to see if there was any accountability or self-evaluation that you were like willing to present in this conversation, any vulnerability you was willing to give me in this small space. Um, but I, I can see how that can become like our same aggressive. And I'm a very accountable person. Yeah. Um, every relationship that I've been in, I've always taken the time to kind of step back and see areas that I can improve. Um, but it just didn't work out, you know. I just, I just didn't like the question. But I do appreciate that you was know. just a You're trigger. Handsome, so. Thank you. It, it was not needed to be a trigger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, that's a regular question. Appreciate that. All right, and now is she someone that's your type? Um, yeah. She probably like, yeah, would have been. Um, until she has she a great that. smile. Seems like she's authentic and genuine. Um, so yeah, I would say so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay, name and age, and why you ended up popping? I'm JoJo, and I'm 30. Um, so I pop, I don't think it's a bad question, but I don't necessarily like the question either. Um, it definitely um, gave me like, to see like, is there something wrong with me, which is why I'm single. Um, Cause I feel like that's kind of what most men get at. Cause I have heard that question before. Um, I don't think it was a bad question. It's just, yeah, it was that. Otherwise, okay. yeah. That's so is he someone that is your type apart from that question? I like his height and complexion. You look nice. Okay. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? Yeah, yeah, she's beautiful. Your eyes, complexion, yeah. Seem Thank you. very nice, authentic. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we do have two beautiful ladies left. Any other questions you want to ask them? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you had an unlimited bank account, uh, somebody wrote you a blank check to do whatever you wanted to do with it, what would you do? Mm. That's a great I want to cut that braid too, friend. Start over that here. That hairstyle is not for him. <laughs> um, I would probably, uh, because I played sports, um, volleyball, so I would probably do a nonprofit for, um, you know, kids who don't have the ability to get to college and stuff and kind of create something so they can have the ability to go to college, get the right funding, get the right, you know, um, mentorship and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I would do for them. <laughs> really big with kids. Little ass bum. So. <laughs> Let's go on over here. Okay, if you want to go ahead and answer his question. Um, I would say first off, I would take care of my family and um, start a business, of course, and start a business. 444 in the chat. With my family as well. And significant other, of course. Um, yeah, I kind of like keep the generational, generational like foundation going. She's, uh, she seems very, very, um, family oriented cause she don't play about like her son, she said. Um, but I don't think it'll work cause I just think he would be too much of a nerd for her. He gives me, she wants a nigga that just so brick on the South side of Atlanta, to be exact. <laughs> so, I just, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> so, okay. All right. Ladies, any questions for him? Do you have, oh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Do you have children? I do not. Okay. All right. That was. Uh, okay. Any questions He's over here? Definitely over it. Do you like to have fun? Like, are you spontaneous? Absolutely. Do you like to go outside That's and the only go reason to the I'm beach here. at night or something? Like, I love long walks on the beach. I said at night. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, yeah. I just, you know, if I just like a fun person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She know he feeling her. He be giving her dry ass answers. <laughs> okay, we'll be back for you then. <laughs> Okay, why did we end up popping? Um, I, I ended up popping my balloon just because um, the connection, um, I did want to actually get to hear you and no more stuff, but at the end, I just wasn't feeling the connection at the end of it, but very handsome and you got yourself going. Thank you. Okay. He was completely not interested. Okay, let's go on down here. Are you a family person? Like, Absolutely. do you like to go to other people, like your significant other's family? And are you um, actu actually, um, do you interact or you just sit there? And I'm the uncle with the slides on at the barbecue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. She says, say less. <laughs> okay, let me bring you on up. Come. Uncle with the slides, that, yeah, that went over. I think he's a cool ass dude, bro. I just hate that goddamn hair. But he does give a censure, um, Chrissy, and I think that I want to see this follow up. <clears throat> <laughs> yes girl <laughs> okay so i'm really feeling the vibe so you know i have my final question if there's no others okay so is it gonna be a yes for you for him yeah oh. <laughs> and is it a yes for you for her absolutely we got a match <laughs> i'll take this y'all going off yes <laughs> See, I like that. They yeah. gonna do it. All right, Look let's go ahead and bring out instantly straight into the gutter. Something's wrong with me. Our next single guy. Not giving a censure. Definitely a censure. Hello, oh. welcome in. What's your oh. name? Uh, oh, uh, my name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, how old yes. are you? I'm 34 years old. Okay, and what do you do? I work in telecom, and I'm a real estate agent. Okay. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Yeah, so I like to travel. I like to travel to Mexico primarily, and uh, right. I would love to find someone to take with me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And now, what are some things you look for in a woman? So, uh, so like some of my deal breakers. Oh, no. What, what do you look for in a what woman? What do I look for? Mm -hmm. So, someone that is very feminine, someone that is beautiful, of course, and someone that can cook. I love to eat. Yeah, the okay. shape of his head is kind of <laughs> weird. Do you cook yourself? Oh! Of course. Okay. Of course. Okay. <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? Some of my deal breakers. So, uh, cigarette smoking. Okay. Uh, someone that may have uh, a kid. Okay. Dang it. And uh, she that's going anyway. Much it. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, we did get a few pop balloons. I think, I think uh, she won him over. Excuse me. He won her over when he said my limit was one. So, it's like he's accepting of. At least one, you know. Balloons. Okay. Let's go on over there and see why they ended right. up popping. Okay, name and age and why you ended up, up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Deja My Marie. I'm 33. It's so convenient. Deja, Deja why'd you I pop? See all uh, the reason minute. I popped it was just initial attraction. Um, it wasn't there for me, and I do typically <laughs> like uh, taller men, um, but you have very, very beautiful, striking eyes. You have a nice smile. Thank so you. outside of that, that was pretty much all. Thank you. Ah. Now, is uh, Deja Marie someone that's your type? <laughs> Uh, not initially. However, uh, past the initial look, I could possibly love her personality. Okay. Yeah. So you said not initially. Is there something specific or? Uh, just the way that uh, I, I usually like a little bit darker women, if that makes sense. My black queens. <laughs> I understand. All right. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Okay. Your name and age. My name is Misha and I'm 27. Um, the reason why I popped... Um, I personally like darker skin, men, okay. so, and, um, but you beautiful. I mean, eyes are amazing. You look amazing, and I can tell you, you got your stuff together as well. Thank you, Misha. You Appreciate that. Now, is uh, Misha someone that's your type? Yes, okay. for sure. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you. Damn, but Misha, you messed up a trip to Mexico. Let's go over here. Okay. Your name and age. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. Hey, and Miriam, why did you pop your balloon? Um, it's just the height, honestly. Okay. I think you're very handsome. I was like, here she come with her shady shit. And you have beautiful eyes, but just just the height. Okay. I appreciate like, that. Thank you. He, he looks he looks taller than yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> taller than me is about six. So uh, you know, uh, like six four. Oh, so you wanna you wanna climb a tree? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got it. I got I got you. I got you. <laughs> all right. Now is Miriam someone that's your type? Uh, not at all. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Why not at all? Uh, she is. Uh, she's definitely a beautiful woman. It's just uh, not initial attraction at first. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here. Okay. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. Okay. And Zola Stone, why did you pop your balloon? <sighs> I'm not the best cook. <laughs> um, okay. And I did. Wait. Yo, what? If you if you can't be the best cook, be the best orderer. Door dash me some shit. Damn. I'm sick of it. I dated a real estate agent before, and it just kind of clashed because I work more in the entertainment music industry. Oh. Okay. And so 
he was just kind of trying to change me in a way. So I know that I, I shouldn't, you know, judge that. Maybe try again, but I don't know. I just don't have a good experience. Like, no, it's all good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. No, she's someone that's your type. Yes, for sure. Okay. Yeah. What makes her your type? So she's uh, very beautiful. I love her eyes. And she's she my said she's shocked. Unaided. So that's definitely something I, I love about her. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you have beautiful eyes. Too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And then we did get one more up here. Your name and age. I'm Jojo and I'm 30. Okay. And Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, I know he said his preference was darker skin. And so I was like, okay, I'm light skin. But, um, yeah. I, that's my preference too, so we kind of looking the, the same right now. Right. Twins. Right. No, no, it's all good. Eyes and everything. You guys do like favor each other yeah. a lot. Maybe related a little yeah. bit, right? So, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, I know we just said y'all look related, yeah. but is she someone that you type? My sister. Uh, <laughs> not really. I'm going to uh, say that. And uh, otherwise, beautiful eyes. Thank you. I love the hair. I love the tattoos, and she's beautiful overall. She just uh, wouldn't be my type because we do look really too similar, yeah. to be honest with you, but yeah, okay. overall beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. All right, so we do what have one balloon left and popped. Any questions for our lady here? Yes, okay. so uh, from your, pa your last relationship, name one thing that you did wrong and one thing that he did wrong. I'm not answering that. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not going to answer that only because we're starting off. It's a trigger, honey. And that's a, her problem. That's a you problem. Off new. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I don't want to bring what was in the past into something I'm starting new. People don't understand that you have to talk about the past. You have to. It's no way in hell you won't. Mm -mm. That's fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Queen. So, uh, what were you trying to get out of that question? So to help her better understand. Uh, just trying to see where her head is at and see if, if there was like any issues I could kind of foresee in, at the beginning. Okay. And you know, yeah. every relationship, it's both partners. You know, I'm not saying it was just me. It was just him. It was both of us. Okay. Um, but I'm not bringing something old into something new. Okay, that's fair enough. I appreciate that. You are very beautiful. Thank I would you. have loved to take you out. Oh, okay. You're handsome, too. You're always popping on these questions, girl. Hey, do you want your balloon back? I do not want my balloon back. Oh, well, look, can I ask a question before I... Well, let me ask a question. Is yeah. it going to lead to you getting your balloon back? Right. It might. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, so I am a believer, and my relationship with Christ is very, very important. Yes. What religion are you? I'm Christian. Okay. And what does your relationship with Christ look like? I either, if I don't go to physical church every Sunday, I watch it on YouTube. And uh, every single Sunday, I have to get some type of intake of, uh, of Christianity. Okay. Of religion. Yeah. Okay, I'll take my back. I'll take it back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's, go. I'll take it back. <laughs> Let's get that balloon back. <laughs> he seems fun. And he said he liked chocolate women, so shit. Okay. All right, let's let's continue this conversation up here. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Any other questions for him? Do you have any children? No children. And where do you see yourself in the next few years? I intend to retire by the age of 40 in uh, the country of Mexico and have properties all around the US that are being rented out and that passive income is going to fund our lifestyle. Hey, and where do you live? I live in Las Vegas. Okay. So I do stay in Florida. Okay. How do you feel about that? We can work things out offline and we can see how things go later on. Okay. I'm down for that. I'm down for that too. Yeah, let's get it. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we got the blue back. Okay, so is it gonna be a yes for you for <laughs> yes? <laughs> and is it a yes for you for her? Of course. 100%. We got a match! Woo! <laughs> I'll this, take this. This is the most matches I've ever seen. And you guys can go on up. <laughs> let's give it up for go them, y'all. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is Julius. Julius, how old are you? Yes, I'm 34. And what do you do? Uh, I mean, I'm an OTR truck driver. Okay, yes. very cool. Yes. Uh, what are some things I could do for fun? 
Uh, for fun, man, I do oh. a little bit of everything. I like to play pool. That's a nice looking brother. Damn, he ain't gonna want none of them. Who uh, bar hop, comedy clubs, sipping paint, uh, skate rooms. Okay. Uh, shit, I know it may not look like it, but I love to eat. So <laughs> different restaurants, trying out different foods. Uh, yeah, not the every year I go to a different. I mean, I go to Laker yeah. games every year. So okay. uh, yeah, you know that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Oh, what I look for in a woman. <laughs> And I got to dig deep in my soul for this one. <laughs> All right, look. So I'm looking for a woman that has not given up on love. Okay. That still believe in the process. I mean, the concept of falling in love. Because, mm. you know, uh, let's be honest. Like, every relationship is not perfect. So, you know, every relationship, you have your ups and downs. So, you know, I'm looking for a woman that's going to stick around when we having our downs. Mm. You know? Cause nah. He going to cheat. It's like, uh, as long as I'm not cheating on you or putting my hands on you or disrespecting you. And he going to beat you. Type of way, any disagreements we have, we can get through that. Okay. So, you know, yeah, uh, I'm looking for a woman that knows how to think. 444 in the chat. For herself. And, not, and, and that's, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, he's not smooth. That's the problem. You said he's too smooth. He's actually not smooth at all. He's telling you everything about himself, actually. He's telling you all the shit that's wrong. <laughs> it's everything that's wrong, okay? And that's not going to uh, follow behind the crowd, you okay. know? That's not going to alter her opinion he just to appease shit. the crowd. So, you know, a woman that's going to stand no business. Uh, okay. Man, I'm looking for a woman that's genuine, you know? A woman that's kind, okay. loving, <laughs> now what are, no, You going to keep going, huh? Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? <laughs> deal breakers. Oh, uh, I would say... A woman that does not know how to take accountability. Mm. Uh, a woman that doesn't keep her house clean. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, if you got kids and your house is a little messy or stuff like that, like, that's cool. If you got toys around, if you got laundry piled up or something like that, that you just he had. give y'all a censure bottle? I think it's kind of a print right there. He give y'all a censure? Haven't got around to doing it? Okay, that's cool. But I'm talking about, like, if I go to your bathroom and behind the sink, <laughs> He it, talked it too much. Like it ain't been, I mean, behind the toilet, it looked like it ain't been touched in months. Like, that's a that's deal breaker. Different. Like, you know, IG. I ain't gonna okay. lie, he talked yeah. too All right, much. so we do not have any pop balloons. Oh, we don't? No. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, switch it on over to you. Mm, you know what? Let's start off with you having uh, to ask the ladies a question. Question? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like a three-in-one, maybe a four-in-one, depending on how I worked the question, but... uh. How long have you been single? Uh, how long did your last relationship last? And name one thing he did wrong in that relationship and name one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Okay. We'll start here with your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Jojo and I'm 30. Uh, my last relationship was a while ago. A while ago? Many, like, many years. Is it a time frame? Um, it was like 2016. 2016. Mm -hmm. okay. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what was the second part? Uh, how long did it last? How long did your last relationship last? Uh, we were together for like seven, eight months. Seven, eight months? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong in that relationship? Uh, I think both of us kind of had bad communication. Bad um, communication. Okay. But yeah. what ended it all was like distance. We end up moving away from each other. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. okay. All right, let's go over here. Name, age, and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice wow. meeting you. Um, I've been single for two years now. Two. My last relationship lasted collectively about three years. We started off as friends. Um, we built a very deep friendship with each other. We became best friends, and then that evolved into a romantic relationship. Gotcha. Um, the reason we ended, we just were not on the same page. I think um, we wanted to. He wanted to deal with me for quite a while, but mm -hmm. once it we actually met, he wasn't ready to fully commit in that way. He still kind of wanted to do his own thing. Um, and at the place in my life, I want someone that's serious and committed and is wanting to settle down and build something in depth, like you stated. Mm -hmm. um, so because of that, I just didn't want to pass any more time um, with something that he wasn't a hundred percent in with. Got you. And can you name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong? Um, I would say 
his lack of commitment okay. or just his lack of discipline um, because we went over what our boundaries were when we started and with us being close friends initially um, I had a clear understanding of what he was looking for I thought he had a clear understanding of what he was looking for um, but when it came down to just having that full commitment and not being able to go out and do what he wanted to do um, that wasn't sitting right with me so I think that was the main thing that ended our relationship mm -hmm. um, as far as me I think um, I would take accountability in that relationship there were certain things I seen in our initial friendship that should have been considered red flags and um, you know small things like that or going out or things he likes doing on his free time that I kind of skipped over hoping he would change gotcha. um, so I would say that was probably my fault god if damn this long winded this long winded is looking at the initial red flag. I don't even remember what we was talking about. This is really lasting a long time here. <laughs> don't you think? Fuck! Megan following through, thinking I can change him. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Misha and I'm 27. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My last relationship was about a year ago and it did last about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start with me. Um, something that I could have done better was let go. Um, sometimes when I'm so invested into something, I don't know how to let it go. Um, so when I had saw the signs and I had saw he wasn't interested, he. They, he could have stayed as long as he wanted to, but he just didn't go. But I saw he wasn't interested, so I should have let go. Gotcha. Um, and that's where I hold accountability for. Something that he could have done better was um, don't commit to something if, like, I wanted marriage. Um, and he kind of went along with it, and um, it just, that's not what he wanted. He wanted to go out, he wanted to party, but he wanted to kind of play um, the husband, but that's not what he wanted. So. Gotcha. Okay. Your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Miriam and I am 34. My last relationship, um, I think it was like 2018. I'm not sure because it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were on and off for like 10 years. Um, the last two questions were. Oh, okay, last two. Oh, you so said you said 2018? Yeah, and, and then basically, you, uh, just name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Um, I think from I don't think it's just one thing, but the icebreaker for me was he got physical. Oh, physical, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's so that right. was like you know, like I said, we was on and off for like 10 years. So when you hold on to something and you're like, okay, you're hoping for someone to change, but yeah, when it gets physical, I don't do that. So, and you said he got physical, so. What's one thing that you did wrong in that relationship? I attack back. That's one thing I think okay. I do, like, because I'm like very dominant as well. So uh -huh. I don't do too well in control. I feel like a man should know how to be a man, and right. a woman should know her place as well. But it's like I, I don't know how to explain it. But I, I told y'all he was abusive. It, I think it was just more so my mouth, like. Gotcha. Say allegedly, I ain't saying that man abusive for real, but. Is how he responded. I attack with my mouth, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So it's like, if you go low, I'm gonna go lower. But I think that's my thing, <laughs> you know? But that's about, that's really it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. Let's go to our next lady. Name, age, and the answer to his questions. Hi, I'm Zola Stone, I'm 31. How you doing? And I just, I didn't want to be rude, but when you asked the question, I wanted to pop already. No, go ahead. <laughs> Why are you holding your balloon, pop? Okay. okay. Yeah. I don't know. Why we pop then? Um, because I already know you're not going to like it, but my last relationship. How are you going to tell him what he don't like? It was New Year's, January, so that's just... So you popped because you assumed that I wasn't going to like yeah. it? Yeah, because it's so recent, and the other women, you know, it's been a couple years, and... No, nah, that you ain't know, no you reason. know the healing process. Yeah, that ain't no <laughs> oh, so you're not healed yet? No, I am, you but are? I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe if it were me, I don't know. That might but yeah, be you, a problem, you know, just. Yeah. I not, bet all her ex-boyfriends looking at this shit like, see? That's, I'm so glad I didn't get back with her. 
Like, golly. Oh, you January. Nah, you Couple can't assume months. like that, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's I just fine. <laughs> if you want to you get know. you know the host, she know. She over it. Well, that's too you recent. Could, but you don't have to assume like that. But even if you don't mind about that, like I just feel like you're such a pretty boy. Like I get <laughs> no, like, no, you're very handsome, very sexy. Definitely not a pretty boy. But I mean like I just get player vibes. Player they make vibes? me nervous, yeah. Like player. I get the player. So you projected. Hmm. Right? <laughs> uh -huh. No, I been projecting the whole time, brother. You know what? Never mind everything I say. I understand you. I don't know. Okay, uh, I just got you, the player uh, by. No, nah, I, I ain't gonna lie. If you would have said that, uh, if I was in my early twenties, then you know you would have been spot on. But nah, now I'm grown. Like you know, You're life is looking, more serious. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's more serious for me. How so, old like, are you? Yeah, I'm 34. Oh, 35. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That's all right, girl. That's Don't cool. worry. You popped. You Pretty popped. Good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Save so, him. after hearing those responses, you know. Save him, Arlette. <laughs> hearing everything they had to say, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and have you pop uh, one girl's balloon. So, let me give you a pick. Get one. There you go. Yeah. Just go ahead and pop one of theirs. So I might have to go with you. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? Uh, I ended up popping because when I asked uh, what's one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong, it was kind of basically like you led with two things that he did wrong or the reason you felt like you did something wrong was because what he did. Mm. So, you know, I felt like it wasn't no accountability there. Okay. So that's only the reason. Okay. <laughs> and so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, initially, I liked the things that you said. Um, I think we have a lot of things in common as far as what you like to do in your free time um, or a lot of things I like to do on my free time. He definitely was paying attention, y'all. We misjudged him. Free time as well. Um, I think you're very well spoken. Um, I find you to be very attractive. I like your skin tone. I like your tattoos. I like how you speak. Um, you seem That's a loud woman right now. To know what you're looking for. And I like that. So I just wanted to hear more. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and ask these ladies She's another so question. Loud. Another one, okay. Yes. Uh, based off your personality. <laughs> it was me? Oh, Name my some fault. intangibles you will bring into a relationship. My fault, friend. Okay. Start right on here. Oh, this chip shaped like okay, a you heart. You said based off um, your personality, person. your character traits, you know, who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. Name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Um, I communicate well. Um, I I'm also a good listener, um, and I'm I'm fun. I'm kind of quiet, but once uh, once you get to know me, once I get comfortable, I'm like I have a very fun personality, and I like to go out, have fun, and I can you know bring good energy into the relationship, um, especially. I feel like she's a Capricorn. Being open-minded and just. Being me, being trying to be, you know, like a great person, and gotcha. again with communicating and being listen, a good listener and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go down here. Me, the brand. <laughs> um, something that I would bring into the relationship. I'm very nurturing. Um, I'm I would have been like tangible. <laughs> always gonna be your number one fan. Like that's just how I feel. Um, I'm gonna make you laugh. I'm always trying to make somebody laugh. So, um, and then uh, just trying to figure out you. Um, trying to figure out what you want, um, mm -hmm. try how to make you happy is that's what I Things would bring to the yeah. relationship. Um, I would say I'm funny. Okay. I have great communication skills. I love conversation. Um, that's one of my biggest things. So if you can't have a conversation with me, I'm just <laughs> like that's just big for me. You know, we I like to talk. <laughs> so, um, I think you know. Just being funny, like I said, I'm spontaneous. Like, I like to travel, um, try new things. I'm mm -hmm. optimistic, and I'm goal-oriented. So I feel like as far as what I can bring to the relationship, helping both of us with our goals and just staying, you know, on task and building, you know, future stuff. So, yeah. Okay. okay time to pop another balloon. Pop, uh, yes, sir. Oh, young-ass lady. <laughs> Y'all all gave great answers. Uh, <laughs> Damn, uh, so I can ask another one. Oh, next round. Next round. Yeah. Damn, okay. Uh, I'm gonna just go you right here. 
Okay, why do we end up popping hers? Uh, it was more so on the like the first question I asked. I felt like she's like a little toxic. So, yeah, she said that she he he was abusive. She was abusive. So you know, I've been in relationships like that before, and I ain't trying to double back on that. Yeah. I can understand that. I mean, that's part of growth and you know healing. So, that was like six, seven years ago, six, 2018. Years. So. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and I, I respect it, you know, but I'm not toxic. You know, gotcha. it takes, it takes <laughs> no, toxic, you know, to, like no, I said. I understand that. And I, I get it, you know, because I kind of bounce back off to him as well. So, yeah. but no, I don't do toxic. I like my peace. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, ladies, any questions for our guy here? Oh, you got one? Okay, sorry, let's go back. <laughs> do you have any children? I do. Okay, I'm going to have to pop. Okay. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm popping is because um. For the husband that I want, I do want to experience that um, gotcha. together. And okay. that's something that I want both of us to have. So Okay. So yeah, that's understandable. Okay. Now, is, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, she's cool. Thank you. Okay, any questions over here? Yes, uh, a follow-up to that. Uh, Got you. How many children and how old? Three. Uh, I have two. Uh, my son is 10 and my daughter, she'll be eight in November. Okay. Yeah. Do you have children? I don't. You don't? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that a problem for you, a deal breaker for you? No, um, the age would have been if they were younger. Younger, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Oh God. Any other questions? Yes. Um, where do you see yourself in like five years? Five years? Uh, five years I see myself owning my own trucking business mm -hmm. and uh, starting my own fleet. Uh, yeah. To be honest, like, I know we all heard about the creation of Adam and Eve. So I'm just looking for my missing rib. So if I find her, I could build a foundation from her, you know, get a house. And then once I get a house with her, protect, protect the house, provide for the house, you know, put my life on the line for her. So it's just like- nah, I think he's serious. I, you know, I misread this man and I apologize. Right. I see myself being married with somebody and just being established. <laughs> so that's like my, that's like my ultimate goal. Let me have you come on up here. Come on up. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. Okay. Definitely All should right. ask about co-parenting because that would have been my question. You guys, so I have a final question if you guys What's are What's his all IG? Good. Hold on. You have a final question? Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Sure. <laughs> you know, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Ah, is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a match. Woo! That's crazy. She had a match on every one of them. I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Let's give it up for them guys. Oh. <laughs> they give me with the all I ever done. Thank you everyone for Okay, his Instagram. Okay. And that passive income is going to fund our lifestyle. See how It's for you for Take this. <laughs> It's the passive income gonna fund our lifestyle for me. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is Julius. Julius, how old are you? Yes, I'm 34. And what do you do? Uh, I mean, I'm an OTR truck driver. Ju Damn, he don't do nothing with the Instagram. Is that him? Well, he been dripped, but he ain't got shit going on on Instagram. He reacting to the pop the balloon shit. Oh, he do reaction video. Same and missed on this. I was just like, okay, yeah, I can't now. You know, I got my dance back in the corner. She's trying to. <laughs> he reacting to all her stuff. Um, this is his Instagram. Let me make sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got the Instagram and his YouTube bio, and it brought me straight to that bullshit. 
I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, he doing shorts on her. Uh, you said something about a uh, woman in peace, like your woman being your peace. Mm -hmm. You should be able to find your own peace, and the woman should be able to act. No, nigga, no, ain't no. Oh, you're finding your own peace, like no, nigga. Like if I'm being with a woman, like she gotta be my peace. Like you feel me? You can't own. Uh huh. That that's who he really is. I was a right. I was right initially. Don't nobody want no girl that's argumentative. You coming home and she like, no, oh, come home and I know my girl's gonna be supportive of me. Like you know she's gonna be understanding. That's peace. That's the type of yeah. She she twenty two. Well, twenty. She young, bro. Really, like, not her actually being your peace. I didn't necessarily say like the woman was my piece. I'm saying I, I look for peace in a woman. Okay. So, so exactly. and, and when I'm looking at you, I don't want conflict. Girl, he that aggravated the shit out of him, ain't it? Uh, let me see. Hey, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Ju Two. And today, you know, a lot of people that I came across that had those even makeup and i was just like i was like still rubbed the wrong way about that the first night okay so she the type that hold grudges <clears throat> she the type that hold grudges oh shit she feels some type of way that uh about the little weed and makeup and all that but he was still able to take her out on dates so i'm pretty sure he did what he had to do yeah to seal that deal oh yeah this nigga ain't shit he ain't shit like i didn't think he was in the beginning he almost pulled one over my head. <sighs> well, I bet y'all will change your minds now. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. And if you see this, brother, don't be coming for me. Uh, say what you want. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to say something back. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.